It's Friday again. Time for another Sudoku puzzle. If you want to learn how to solve even complex Sudoku puzzles without writing candidates, you'll learn that here. This channel shows you how to solve Sudoku without pencil marks. You can learn more about these techniques and patterns on sudokuprimer.com. There's lots of other Sudoku information out there too, and you can download free blank Sudoku grids, you can even create your own personal Wordoku puzzles there. Well, I got a request this week to look at some handcrafted puzzles. My friend Smart Hobbies gave me links to some, so I'll take a look at them. I'm not promising anything, but I may do a video or two using handcrafted puzzles in the near future. Well, this is puzzle number 94 from Sudoku to Go, Volume 148. I'll talk about a special case hidden T pattern, a little different than a hidden T pattern, but it does the job and helps us find a number that keeps us going. This puzzle gets very hard until we use a special case to find a number. But then we're not yet out of the woods, even after we find a, a couple of numbers because uh, we have to use more advanced techniques to find more numbers after that. But we eventually get to the point where I, where I can throw the pen down and we'll be done. Well, let's just start out again like we usually do with some easy numbers. There's a four there, four there, ghost fours four, four there. And we've got an 8, 8, 8 there, so that's an 8. Here, 9 here, 9 here, 9 here, so that's a 9. A 9 there. All right, let's look at this column right here. What are we missing? Two, three, four, seven. Here's a two, three, four, so that's a seven right there. Here's a two, four, so that's a three right there. So we just have two and four left here in this column we can't solve yet. All right, and now we've got a uh, one here, one here, and one there, so that's a one. And then we've got a Four, four, four. So one of these is a four, but we have ghost fours right here. We got a four there, four there. So these are ghost fours. So that makes that a four. All right. And then um, I think we're getting to the point already on this puzzle where it, we can't find any numbers. And I'm going to show you a set of twins I find. And if you'd like to stop the video and, or pause the video and see if you can find anything after, you know, fi after finding these twins, um, go ahead. This is a two or a three right here. Because we're missing two, three, six, seven, and eight in column one here. We've got a six, seven, and eight there. So that's a two or a three. We also have a six, seven, and eight there. So that's a two or a three. Now I've, I need to, you need to um, use another te technique in order to uh, find a number, but that's the starting point. This is the first thing that I find. And see if you can find another number um, using those twins and another technique if you'd like to. If not, if you don't want to pause, I'll uh, continue on. Well, with these two, three twins right here that we have, we've also got um, the, the last three numbers here, six, seven, and eight. Six, this is six or eight, because there's a seven there. And these are six, seven, eight. Now we have what I call um, this special case pattern right here. I mean, T pattern. A special case T pattern right here. Normally with a hidden T 
pattern, we'd have, um, well, let me show you a regular T pattern if you're not familiar with it. This, this uh, box five right here, we've got a 4917. The two and three don't have to be here, but we have a T pattern right here. All right, with the 4917. Now, if you find a set of twins in a, in a box like this, you have a hidden T pattern. In this case, we don't find a set of twins right here, but we know these are these three cells are six, seven, eight triplets. And in this case, with this two in the middle column here, we know that the two can't go here or here, so the two has to go here or here. So that's what I'm calling a special case hidden T pattern. First you have T patterns, then you have hidden T patterns. Well, in this case, we've got a special case hidden T pattern, where we don't have a set of twins here making a hidden T pattern, but we've got a set of triplets, which we can use to our advantage to, to limit the two to uh, row seven right here. Now, with the ghost twos right here in this row, We've got, um, this is either a two or a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's either a two or a nine. Now, but with these twos in this special case hidden T pattern, we know that's a nine. And there's only, there were only two nines missing in this puzzle. We've got those six and this nine right here. So we knew the nines were here and here. And so because of this nine that we filled in, we can fill in that nine right there. All right, so that was uh, one technique I wanted to point out here. Um, and I've got, there's another point in this puzzle where we get to a rough spot and uh, we'll have to use a couple of other techniques to uh, get past that. Um, Let's see. In fact, let me show you that right now. We've got a two here. We know this can't be a two because of the ghost twos here. So we've got a two here. We've got ghost twos there. So the two in box two is constrained to column five right here. We've also got um, in box three, we know a two has to be in row one or row three. So using double row elimination, two, two, we know the two is right here in box one. So there we're using a couple of um, techniques together. One is ghost twos and two there to find the constraint on twos in box two. And then we'll use double row elimination to uh, find that two right there. Now remember we had two three twins right here, so we put a three right there, and uh, that makes that a two. Well, uh, yeah, that makes that a two because the two was constrained to one of these two cells. We also know that that's a four because of that two in box one. So I'll put the two in there and the four there. All right, well, let's see what we can do with that. Now that we've uh, um, found a few difficult numbers, we can continue on. We've got a one and a four missing in this row, and we can solve them. And we've got a uh, right angle pattern right here, which we can use. We've got a one here and a one here. We can put a one there. All right, and then let's look at our ones. I think we can complete our ones now. We've got a one, 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 one there, and a one, a one right there. Okay. All 
All right, and now um, we're going to use double column elimination here to find a three. This is a three right here. So we've got a three here or here. And these are three five twins right here. So three here or here, here or here. So one of these has to be a three. We already have threes in those two rows, so the three goes right there. All right, and now let's see, we're missing five, six, and eight here. Got an eight there and an eight there, so that's an eight right there. And five and six we can't solve yet. All right, and let's see, what are we missing here? Two, five, six, and seven. Well, here's a six, and uh, let's see. We've got a gate pattern right here with a six going through it, so we know that one of these is a six with this six. So we have two six twins right here. If you remember, we have a two here, goes two there. So two six twins there, so these are five and seven, the only two numbers left in this column. So we can fill those in. And then we've only, we're only missing six and eight here, so we can fill them in because of that six. All right, now we're missing five, six, and eight here in box four. Let's see, let's look at row six here. Okay, we're missing five and six there. With that five, we can solve them and put an eight right there. All right, and now we've got a, let's see, nine, three, six, that's a six right there. And we're missing two, five, seven, two, five, seven, five and seven there, so that's a two. And these are five and seven, which we can't solve yet. All right, but we have a six here, go six is there, makes that a six. Of course, that's the only number left in this column. All right, and with this six, we can fill in our two and six twins that we knew about in box two there. All right, and we got two here, two here, so that's a two. All right, uh, let's see, and our three and five that we found, let's see if we can fill those in. Well, let's see what this number is right here. 296, 296, 714, one and four, so that's a seven. And that leaves a three and seven that we can fill in there. All right, we got three and five right there, which we can fill in. All right, let's see. We've got a, a six here, so that's a six. Six, six there, so that's a six right there. All right, and now we can fill in our five and seven there. And we've got two and seven missing here, which we can finish. All right, now we're missing two, three, five, eight there. There's a two, five there, so that's three, eight. Eight there, so. And so we're missing two and five there. Got a two there. And now we can fill in the three and five there with that five. And seven and eight missing there. And now we can throw our pin down. Well, there's no end to using creative techniques when solving really hard puzzles. And uh, I showed you 
an example of a special case hidden T pattern right here, where we didn't really have twins right here to make a hidden T pattern, but we knew neither one of those could be a two, so we knew, knew, knew the two was constrained to one of these two cells because of that two. And that's, that's where you get creative. You use the techniques that you learn on sudokuprimer.com and the techniques you learn on this channel, but then you get creative on your own and find other ways of doing things. So, well, I hope you're learning a lot on this channel. Um, and I'm, I'll ask you to please comment and let me know what you like about this channel. And if you have any suggestions for me, leave them in a comment too. Well, I'll see you again on next Friday.